Folks, as we move closer to 2026, one thing is becoming increasingly clear. Quantum computing is no longer just a futuristic concept talked about in research labs and academic papers. It's slowly but steadily transitioning into a real, investable technology that governments, enterprises, and global institutions are beginning to take seriously. Over the past few years, we've seen artificial intelligence go from an experimental idea to a core pillar of modern business, and many experts believe quantum computing could follow a similar trajectory over the next decade. But just like AI in its early days, the biggest opportunities often don't come from the trillion-dollar giants everyone already knows. They come from smaller, earlier-stage companies that are quietly building the foundational technology that the future will rely on. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. In this video, I'm breaking down four quantum computing stocks that analysts and institutions are closely watching heading into 2026. These are not risk-free investments, and they are not guaranteed winners, but they are companies operating at the cutting edge of one of the most disruptive technologies of our time. So if you're someone who likes understanding trends early, make sure you watch this video till the end. And if you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update on the hottest stocks in the market. Let's aim for 500 likes on this video so more people can reach and benefit from this info. And remember folks, this video is for educational purposes only. I am not a financial advisor, and this is not a financial advice. Always do your own research before making any investment decisions. Now let's get into it. Let's start with Seal SQ Corporation, trading on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol LAES. This company has been quietly positioning itself as a key player in post-quantum technology. Seal SQ is not trying to compete head-to-head -head with companies building massive quantum computers. Instead, it is focused on a different but equally critical piece of the puzzle, post-quantum security and semiconductor solutions designed to protect data and systems in a future where quantum computers can potentially break today's encryption standards. This is an area that many people underestimate, but governments and large enterprises are already preparing for what's known as the quantum threat, where current cryptographic systems become vulnerable. Seal SQ has been developing both hardware and software solutions that aim to be quantum resistant, which places the company at the intersection of cybersecurity, semiconductors, and quantum technology. From a financial perspective, Seal SQ has shown meaningful progress over the past year. On November 18, the company reaffirmed its full year 2025 revenue guidance in the range of $17.5 million to $20 million. That represents year over year growth of approximately 59% to 82% which is a strong growth rate for a company at this stage of development. What's particularly important here is not just the growth itself, but the fact that management has publicly expressed confidence that growth is expected to accelerate further in 2026. This expected acceleration is being driven by a combination of expanding customer demand, a broader product portfolio, and the continued scaling of the company's post-quantum roadmap. One of the most significant developments for Seal SQ in 2025 was the acquisition of ICALPS, which strengthened the company's semiconductor design capabilities and expanded its reach into new markets. The consolidation of ICALPS revenue played a meaningful role in CLSQ's performance during the second half of the year. For the first nine months of 2025, CLSQ reported preliminary revenues of $9.9 .9 million, reflecting 41% year-over-year growth. Notably, $5.1 million of that revenue came from Q3 alone, suggesting improving quarterly momentum as the year progressed. Management believes this trend continued into quarter four, supported by renewed demand for traditional SealSQ products and the integration of ICALPS operations. Beyond the numbers, what makes Seal SQ particularly interesting is its strategic positioning. The company's solutions are designed for use in secure IoT devices, critical infrastructure, defense applications, and enterprise systems where long-term data security is essential. As quantum computing advances, the need for quantum-resistant security will only grow stronger, not weaker. With the stock trading around $4.24 and having already gained significantly over the past year, CLSQ remains a speculative but intriguing name for investors who want exposure to the security side of the quantum revolution. The second company on our list is Regetti Computing Incorporated, trading under the ticker symbol RGTI, which is one of the more well-known pure-play quantum computing companies in the public markets. Regetti has been building gate-based quantum computers and offering quantum computing services through the cloud making its technology accessible to researchers, enterprises, and developers. Over the years, Regetti's stock has experienced significant volatility, largely driven by shifts in sentiment around emerging technologies, interest rates, and speculative growth stocks. However, beneath that volatility, the company has continued to make steady progress on its technical roadmap. On November 12th, benchmark analyst David Williams reiterated a buy rating on Regetti 
and assigned a price target of $40, reflecting confidence in the company's long-term potential despite near-term market fluctuations. According to the analyst, Regetti's chiplet-based architecture is a key differentiator that could enable better scalability and performance over time. While broader volatility in the AI and emerging tech sectors has temporarily reduced investor enthusiasm for quantum stocks, the long-term investment case for Regetti remains intact due to ongoing technical milestones and strategic partnerships. Regetti has laid out an ambitious roadmap for the coming years. The company expects to deploy a 150-plus qubit quantum system by around the end of 2026, targeting a median 2-qubit gate fidelity of approximately 99.7%. Looking further ahead, Regetti aims to deploy a 1,000-plus qubit system by around the end of 2027, with an expected median 2-qubit gate fidelity of 99.8%. In the nearer term, the company remains on track to deliver a 100-plus qubit chiplet-based system by the end of 2025, with an expected median 2-qubit gate fidelity of 99.5%. These milestones matter because quantum computing is not a binary success or failure technology. Progress happens incrementally and each improvement in qubit count, fidelity, and system stability increases the range of problems quantum computers can realistically tackle. Regetti has also benefited from sustained public and private funding, which has helped support its research and development efforts during a period when many speculative tech companies have struggled to access capital. With the stock trading around $25.84 after substantial gains over the past year, Regetti remains a high-risk but potentially high-reward name that could benefit if quantum computing adoption accelerates heading into the second half of the decade. Next, let's talk about the third stock, D-Wave Quantum Incorporated, trading on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol QBTS, which takes a different approach to quantum computing compared to most of its peers. D-Wave focuses primarily on quantum annealing, a form of quantum computing that is particularly well-suited for optimization problems. Rather than competing directly in the race to build universal gate-based quantum computers, D-Wave has concentrated on delivering practical quantum solutions that can be used today for specific use cases such as logistics optimization, scheduling, and complex simulations. This strategy has allowed D-Wave to move toward commercialization earlier than many other companies in the space. On November 10th, benchmark analyst David Williams raised his price target on D-Wave to $35 from $20 while maintaining a buy rating. The analyst cited healthy progress during Q3 2025, particularly in terms of commercialization momentum and customer engagement. During the quarter, D-Wave reported bookings of $2.4 million, representing a modest year-over-year -year increase but a significant 80% increase compared to Q2 2025. This sequential growth suggests rising interest in the company's offerings, even as the broader quantum market remains in its early stages. Revenue for Q3 2025 doubled year-over-year -year to $3.7 million, driven primarily by a $1.8 million system upgrade project and higher professional services revenue. While revenue from quantum computing as a service declined slightly, the overall mix showed diversification across different revenue streams. Financially, D-Wave continues to operate at a loss, with adjusted EBITDA losses increasing to $20.6 million in Q3 2025. This increase was largely driven by higher operating expenses as the company continues investing in commercialization, sales, and product development. While losses are a concern, many investors view them as part of the cost of building early leadership in a nascent industry. With the stock trading around $26.10 after a sharp year-to-date increase, D-Wave represents a company that is already demonstrating real-world applications for quantum technology, which could become increasingly valuable as enterprise adoption grows. Now let's move to fourth and final stock IonQ Incorporated, trading under the ticker symbol IONQ, which is widely considered one of the leading companies in trapped Aeon quantum computing. IonQ has consistently attracted attention from both institutional investors and analysts due to its unique technology, strategic partnerships, and relatively strong revenue growth compared to many peers. On November 7th, Cantor Fitzgerald raised its price target on IonQ to $70 from $60 while maintaining an overweight rating following the company's Q3 2025 earnings report. Analysts emphasize that IonQ is still in the early innings of commercializing its technology, with significant long-term potential ahead. According to Cantor Fitzgerald, IonQ could ultimately capture around 30% of the quantum hardware, software, and services market by 2035. In present value terms, this opportunity has been estimated at approximately $954 million, underscoring the scale of the market IonQ is targeting. During Q3 2025, IonQ reported revenue of $39.9 million, representing a 222% year-over-year increase. This growth was driven by progress on specialized quantum hardware contracts and increased contributions from recent acquisitions. However, this rapid expansion has also led to higher costs. IonQ's loss from operations widened significantly, 
reflecting increased spending on research and development, infrastructure, and general administrative expenses. As of September 30, 2025, the company reported approximately $141.1 million in remaining performance obligations, providing improved visibility into future revenue. Management also raised full-year 2025 revenue guidance to between $106 million and $110 million, signaling confidence in near-term demand. With the stock trading around $50.35 and having delivered substantial gains over the past few years, IonQ is increasingly viewed as a bellwether for the quantum sector as a whole. Its performance is closely tied to execution, customer adoption, and broader confidence in the commercialization timeline for quantum computing. So, to warp things up, when you step back and look at these four companies together, what becomes clear is that quantum computing is not a single-path story. Each approach carries its own risks and opportunities, and none of these companies should be viewed as guaranteed winners. But for investors who understand that transformative technologies take years to mature, these stocks offer a window into where the quantum landscape could be heading as we move toward 2026 and beyond. If you found this breakdown helpful and want more deep dives into emerging technologies and under-the-radar stocks, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video.